Hello everyone, and welcome back to Blackguards once again. Not sure how long this game has left. Um, so these fire statues I will deal with after I've done dealt with the skeletons. I'm hoping I can kill the skeletons bef I mean, I'm hoping they don't instantly, infinitely respawn. Should have buffed up Valyria, shouldn't I? Oh well. Also, why does that old man have... 14 more health points than this spry young woman. That doesn't make sense. I mean, I get why he's got more astro points and also... That was loud. That was a really loud noise. Um, you make her move as lightning. Ow. Okay, that's a really loud effect, that uh, sort of end of turn thing. Which also heals the skeletons fully, okay, so I should have guessed. Um, suspect you don't have line of sight with your healing, do you? Yeah, just about don't. Makes sense, eh? So you wait. And Valeria will move here ish. And then destroy that crystal, I guess. And now I see if I have line of sight. Just about don't. Darn. Okay, so I'll move back here. Ow. Can you really use that heal now? Hoping that'll be fine. I need to destroy all of these crystals, I suspect. Not that they take much damage, but... Also fine. Very good. Careful. Um. Oh, hey! The massive enemy came back. And I don't think this is really a good place to fight. All those traps are kind of annoying. Um, I'll... Try to get Uriah out of here. I mean, at this stage I should probably try to save him instead of kill him. I mean, I would dearly love to kill him, but... Uh, something makes me think that's not very smart. So, walk back two steps, maybe? Do I have any AoE? Um... This one becomes cone-shaped, I think. Or it hits everyone. While also really killing my FPS. In a major way. That whole screen-filling effect, this game does not seem to be... ...made to handle those kinds of uh, effects. Okay, you guys, why don't you step back even further? Step, not stab. Uh, and give Valeria another one of those nice little move Vesla lightning buffs. Hmm. 
-hmm. Now, how about I do this magic projector level 3 thing? And then I only have one enemy left. Ouch. Might want to need a might want to get a heal on Valyria. I think she might still be in range for that thing. Ouch. Why don't you move here and get another one of those big heals out? Okay, well, Urias can take it. Well, not really, but... And now I can't see anything. Nice. Okay, so that guy's quite resilient to magic. And because he's behind this pillar, I know it looks really and really strange now, but he is there and it's the only thing I can really do at the moment. Just hit him, I guess. Well, you should probably heal yourself a little. And then, I guess, wait. While I get in one attack a turn. Well, actually, I'm also going to use my staff. Okay. Well, this can work. Since my chance to hit is lousy anyway, I might swap power blow. See? If that's what the lizard men mean by rebirth, then I don't want to be reborn. The mummy was only a vessel. A vessel? What's that? What's it whispering? The name. Ah, if only you knew what you witness. If only you knew what is now possible. I remember. I remember the name. Then we have what we need. Open your eyes. Um, nope. I definitely want to wake up. Norim! We have the name. We don't need her anymore. Eventually she'll cut our throat. The Angrishim need their throats. She's a paramour of the dragon. She's lied to us from the beginning and she's a witch. I, I don't mean to say that we should burn her right away. I'm sure you'd like that. Enough! We have to stop tearing ourselves apart. This must end. Like I said. Um, yeah. What? Why would she say that? Uh, also, I just wanted to say, if you remember at the very beginning when that wolf was attacking and we were having our first fight, we heard this kind of whisper telling us it'll be all right, slay the beasts, kind of like that. I think that might have been that nameless whisper. And Takate looks really weird in that armor set. <laughs> it really doesn't suit him at all. Um... Don't you see what's happening to us? The whisper is embracing us. We're succumbing to the nameless despair, like all the others. Oh, and did this whisper also force you to lie to us? Aurelia stays with us. If she wants us dead, she would have killed us by now. Nice that we have that cleared up. But what do we do next? We visit Urias. And where do we find Urias? Aurelia will guide us. I'm afraid I can't do that. Urias never told me. The Lizard City lies somewhere in the Rain Mountains. But that's all I know. 
Well, it's a start. Yeah. Why not simply tell the whole story to the Council of Nitha? Or to the priests? They'll take care of it. Because we're outlaws. And because no one but me knows the word of banishment. And it's not like you could tell anyone because, well, it's meant to be a super mystical word. It can't just be Bob. Um, but supposedly Takate knows the way. I will guide you. You? You know where the valley is, Takate? No, but our spirit woman does. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't see any reason to travel on foot. Um, I don't know what would have happened if I'd stayed in the memory, by the way, but um, Aurelia said that if we stay too long we won't wake up, so I think waking up seemed like a good idea. Okay, we got the achievement No More Lies. Plus a bunch of experience. Takate is now over 2,000. Uh, let's, let's check that, see if we can do anything. Let's go to the arena quarter. There's still that trainer there. I don't know if I've got any leftover things to buy from him, but just in case, now might be a good time to do that. Hey, you! Yep. Can you teach watch and? Uh, well, you could teach me weapons master melee and liberating blow. Oh. Let's go for the liberating blow. And I need weapon talents at level sixteen. The only ones that are close are these two. I know I won't get it, but I'll work towards it, I guess. Confirm that. Norim. Uh, special abilities. She has defensive stance. Oh, why not? And I need more weapon talents at 16. Uh, 200 bashing weapons. Oh, why not? And one more. And it doesn't matter which one, since they're all at level zero. So let's go with swords and sabers. And I won't get this one either, but I'll work towards it. Zoberan probably doesn't have any use for any of this. Yeah. Yeah. Takate, you could learn shield fighting, but that's pointless because you don't have a shield. Similarly, you have nothing that can take advantage of these two skills. So, Takate, how about that built body control? And... I don't know, animal lore. Let's push that up to 13, why not? Set 13. And Zoberan, how about your spells? You're still technically missing aura shield. No, really not interested in that. And does Aurelia still... Oh yeah, she still has some some arrow stuff she can Maybe like. Which I believe that Nineveh character taught those. So actually, let's go there. So you said... Yep. Oh, just about don't have enough for arrow storm. But um, it might have seemed like I just spontaneously made a choice. No, it, it wasn't. Marksman is a single target thing that seems really strong. So I prefer that over uh, an AoE that uh, it'll probably hit a small area. And usually there's only not going to be that many targets in the area. Not quite sure how it'll work out, but I'm okay with that as it is. And finally, spells. I still don't quite know what to, sp what to spec. <laughs> um... I mean, stand fast cat like, why not? And the highest level it'll again ta affect the entire map but not be as strong, so I'll stick to it at this level. Mm. I'll level up the fireball. Nothing else to do. Let's go. And I just want to make sure I'm not over my limit. I am not. It's close, but it's working out. So, let's head to uh, Screams here. Um, let's go to the Screams. 
Not quite sure how I can tell at this distance, but... Okay, so I'm supposed to help the stranger, this guy, escape. And press V to highlight the safe zone. Okay, back there. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess let's go in. That looks like a dragon. So, maybe Norim will finally... Oh, it's another dragon! Maybe Norim will get his dragon fight. Finally, he should be enjoying this. Maybe. I don't know. Um, didn't know the swamp gas could trigger from me walking out. Oh, maybe because I've got the fire weapon. That makes sense. I mi it might be because of that. If that's the reason, then that's smart and I like it. If that's not the reason, screw you, game, I'm going home. Um, not overdoing it with the dragons, are we? No, of course not. Well, it's, it's a flying lizard, not technically a dragon, but let's not kid around, it is a dragon. And does, is that a new one or is that the damaged one returning? Nope, that's a new one. So what, I'm not supposed to be able to damage them? So then I don't really see what I can do. So as soon as that one takes damage, it flies away. Leaving the battle forever. And it doesn't look like it's doing very much in the way of... ...returning. Okay. He only has 15 health left. If this doesn't work out, I'll have to retry and be a little more aggressive on Zoberan, moving him into combat, to be able to heal. Because the rest of my guys can't really do much, I guess. Okay, so yeah, all of those dragons are at full health. And Zoberan probably can't do very much, don't know. How about you, can you witch a spit? Yes, you can! It's at the limit, but it works. And Zoberan is, is still in that poison puddle, which will take a while to get out of, I think. Yeah, he's still stuck in it. Okay. Well, we, we'll try this one again. Uh, so I can't afford to let Zoberan get stuck, because that'll lose me the battle. And it also appears like I'm not supposed to be able to fight those guys? Which, that sucks. Okay. Um, I'm not even certain if moving forward into me with the melee characters actually has a use. Except for, well, triggering that again. That was smart. Okay, I'll move to Kate up here. Aurelia, you could go right here. I'm thinking that'll be fine and triple shoot this dragon making him leave. I mean, that's the thing I can do with her. Hitting an enemy to make them leave. And then Zoberan, I guess, go for Hawkeye Marksmanship. Not sure it's actually any use, but... Wow. Okay, wait. Takate, move over. 
Okay, you found the trap, but I don't think you triggered it. Interesting. Maybe I should use his perception. It should... No, Aurelia's perception is ridiculously high, isn't it? Well, so much for that. Um, okay, I'll try once more. Didn't even have a chance to get close to that guy. But we can try a few more things now. And it seems I have to get lucky on his damage rolls, so if he gets too much damage, I'm just done for. Okay, Nora. Trigger that fire again. Uh, just move forward on Valyria, except I find the poison puddle. Takate, move there. Okay, don't you have high perception? Yes. Okay, that displays all of the traps, I think. I maxed out her perception, if I remember correctly, so... There is that to consider. Maybe for this fight I should switch all my guys to ranged. Just give them some ranged weapon. Not that I have any, but I can buy them. Again! This is just ridiculous. I'm hoping a single attack will be enough to make them fly away. It won't be. Okay, so that's interesting as well. I mean, it'll, it'll lose me this fight, but... They only fly away once they've taken a certain amount of damage, and he's dead now. I'm... There's no way I can heal him in time. Bye-bye, you lost the battle. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't want to skip this one because it seems like there's some kind of trick to it, but I will. So um, next time, I think you will see me will be when I've done this, when I'm when I'm reasonably certain I'll win it, basically. So I'll see you in a bit.